One of my favorite YouTubers, Casey Neistat, contacted Robert Kinsel, the chief business officer at YouTube. He is responsible for everything created and published on YouTube. Casey Neistat invited him, or should I say, challenged him, to come to Casey's office in New York to answer questions and talk about some frustrations creators have on this platform, YouTube. And to my absolute surprise, he accepted. Casey asked a lot of excellent questions, and Robert Kinsel gave a lot of very good answers. It was all very interesting, and I learned a lot about YouTube. But it still left me frustrated. Why? Because I'm a small YouTuber. As someone with only 18,000 subscribers, I have concerns and problems that Casey Neistat didn't bring up. I don't blame Casey in any way. He may not even be aware of the problems we small creators run into or the frustrations we face. For example, my channel, without any warning, was terminated. When I tried to find out why, I was told through a template email that it was for severe violations of YouTube's policy. To my knowledge, I had done nothing wrong. And when I tried to ask YouTube what these so-called violations were, my email went unanswered. It took about three weeks before YouTube realized they had made a mistake and I had done nothing wrong and finally reinstated my channel. YouTube was even pushing people to unsubscribe from me. To this day, I still don't know the reason why this happened. Still today, I don't know if that termination was a glitch by YouTube or that I had inadvertently broken a rule. If I did, YouTube should have told me what I did wrong so I won't do it again. I realize, of course, 18,000 subscribers isn't much, but I still want to be taken seriously. I don't even know who to contact to solve my problems. Who would I email? Where would I get an email address to email to? Whenever I try to contact YouTube, I just get a template response to read an article, which in no way corresponds to the problems I have. This is extremely Frustrating. Here are some of the concerns and problems a small YouTuber like me have. Certain channels show up in my related channel box, but we have nothing related at all. Why are they there? Who chose them? And if I were to be in their related box, viewers would immediately click off because I'm not who they expect and want to see. A channel shouldn't get promoted for suddenly having a video that goes viral. A channel should get promoted based on steady, hard work. Channels should also get promoted for having an active amount of subs. It's very difficult to grow on YouTube if you make really good videos that takes a lot of time to make. It seems like YouTube is promoting quantity over quality. Creators who upload every single day gain many more views than creators who spend time to make excellent videos and consequently does not upload as many. YouTube is promoting watch time, but there is a big problem with this. Some creators, big and small, try to extend their video length by repeating what they've already said or including useless information. I would like to watch long videos, but now if I see a video over 10 minutes, I don't even want to click it. Unless it's a YouTuber I know I enjoy, because I would have already seen the end of the video in the beginning. Robert Kinsel said in the interview that if you get demonetized on a video, before you make it public, you can put it in unlisted and request a review for the yellow monetization symbol to go away. But the problem with this is, is you need to have over 100,000 subscribers for this. If not, you have to wait until you get a thousand views for a review. A thousand views for a small YouTuber like me is sometimes half my views. 
actually only 10% of my total views are monetized. Which makes no sense, because every time I appealed, the yellow monetization symbol went away. I've had a million total views, and only a hundred thousand of them are monetized. Here's an idea for you, Robert Kinsel. What if you started a YouTube channel, which you answer our questions once a week? I think we small creators deserve it. We're not only the majority of producers on YouTube, but we're also the majority of consumers on YouTube. Robert Kinsel. I realize, of course, I'm just a small YouTuber with around 18,000 subs. And I know your time is very valuable. I don't expect you to come to me, but I would be happy to travel to you to express my problems and get answers. Many of the questions I have are relevant to the absolute majority of YouTubers. Please keep in mind that today's small YouTubers are the future of YouTube. So, Robert Kinsel. I'm really looking forward for your invitation to come to your office.